City Rats is premiering here at the East End Film Festival. City Rats is directed by Steve Kelly and stars Danny Dyer and Tam Hassan, who last worked together on Nick Loves the Business. The story of City Rats is about eight lives that collide in a pop fiction style blend, which reveals London's true, dark and twisted underbelly. This is the story of London's lonely and lost, looking for redemption in each other and finding solutions in darkness and light. We're going to try and interview some of the stars from City Rats. Why did you decide to do the film? <coughs> um, have you seen it? Not yet, I'm hoping to tonight. Well, uh, for me and Danny, it was... Um, it was something we had to do. Uh, it was complete. It's completely different to anything anybody knows me for. Everybody knows me as the Playboy or Bill Fred or Layer Kate and these top lads movies. And when this could come along, it was. Um, I mean, it had no money. It was, it was a micro budget, not low budget. And the script was so good. The writer was good. Steve Kelly, the director, fantastic director. Um, and it was just me completely testing myself as an actor. Really, I mean, the, the, the film roles I get are kind of a no-brainer for me because you know. I do them so well, and they're kind of me in real life anyway, not the villain side of things, but the big persona, I'm a man's man in real life, and a lot of these roles are written for me, but um, I play completely the opposite, I play a, a, an alcoholic, suicidal, manic depressive office worker. Mm. Once you watch the movie and you see how I've played the character Jim, uh, you, you'll understand that he is in there, and he's quite funny in areas, and he's got his, he's got his crosses to bed, he's got his issues, but... People are pining not for him to, to, to jump because every day he goes up on the roof and he can't bring himself to jump. Me and Danny's done another movie called Dead Man Running with 50 Cent, which is another lad's caper. So, you know, hopefully I just want people to go and watch this one, enjoy it, see it for the performances, embrace it, don't take it too seriously, and just see us in a different light. You know? Well, that's a money because there's no money on it. Uh, I was just like the idea of playing an alcoholic. I wanted to try and change everything about what I do, my posture, the way I look at people. <laughs> and also got, gave me a chance to go a bit of method. So do you want to work with this guy again? Do yeah, you we've got a film coming out at the end of the year. Yeah, he said Dead, Dead Man, Man Money with 50 yeah. Cent. So yeah, we've done four movies together now. It's always great to work with your pals. It's yeah. bonus. So uh, as long as it's quite different what we're doing and our relationship with him. And in this movie, we haven't really seen together. Yeah. Not one. You know? So, you know, it's, you know, for him it was a major thing because he needs to change what he's doing as well. And they gave us an opportunity to do that. Although we're still both cockneys in it, it's not necessarily about changing your accent, it's just changing the it's changing, you know, just everything about it, you know, like what I said about posture. Three different ways in which you interpret sex in the movie was, was very, very interesting and that's what kind of began to draw me to it and that's what I think what drew the actors to it is there was a real sense that they themselves could be dangerous in what they did. They could actually do something that they're not usually allowed to do and they could try some stuff. And as a director, I try to do the same thing. You don't know you're always going to hit, but hey, you know, sometimes it's nice when you get a project and you don't just have to treat like a classic, let's make everything the way that everyone else does it. So let's try to make something that's different, whether it's going to be hit or miss, you know, everyone else will judge. But it was certainly a deliberate intention to make a more interesting, fractured piece that was non-linear in the sense of a story structure. You know, we know story, we know how to structure it, but actually we chose to be different this time. Uh, and it was very interesting. Yeah. Have you got more products lined up? Have you got any yeah, more I've, features uh, that you're working on? Uh, I've just shot a movie uh, which I completed in January called The Shouting Man, which is a comedy, it's a road movie comedy of, uh, of, of 12 people uh, on, on, a, uh, on a journey of discovery, and it's funny. Okay, I just want to know what you thought, George. What did you think of the movie? I, I thought it was really fantastic. It was, you know, a low budget film, but what they managed to do, like the low budget, some great moments there. The, the filming was great. Some re really captured some really powerful moments now. I was really impressed. Yeah, I mean, it had a very funny side as well. It was sort of a dark comedy, and although, you know, you left sort of 
slightly depressed at the same time, you know, you did, it was very funny at the same time. And the actors in it did such a good job, so yeah. Would you recommend the movie outside of London? Certainly recommend it, yeah. Very, very tight script. Um, uh, there's a lot of humour in it. Uh, it's quite film. It's a really fantastic piece of art. Really good. Would you recommend the movie? Definitely. It was, I thought it was quite original um, as films today go. It was a very accurate, um, beautifully filmed London, I thought. Um, and it was, I think it was about loneliness and uh, what's going on in the cities now. And there's some beautiful performances and some very talented new actors. I think some of the names are people to look out for. Yeah, we enjoyed the movie. Yeah, it was very yeah. arty. I liked yeah. how many different layers it had to it. It wasn't just obvious like most films are. And it wasn't <laughs> predictable at all. At all. It was quite deep. I'm quite deep. As much I as I look like I'm probably not. You yeah, had to really deep. think about it. Yeah, you had to think about it. We love thinking, don't we? I thought the film was absolutely fabulous. I had a tear actually in some of the parts. Each and every character in it just really they just acted so fantastic. I enjoyed the film immensely. Uh, I would watch it again. Um, I'm short sighted, and so the graininess of the film hurt my eyes. That's all. And I'm Tina. I'm Candice. I'm Millie. And we all thought the film was absolutely fab. We loved it.